because I got like a second wind or whatever um, and I'm excited about it I think this is maybe our fourth or fifth event like this um, last year we did Queens convene and I'm not sure what season it was in but we also did a beige week that may have been this year <sighs> anyway um, everything is usually pretty organic meaning you decide what you want to do but I do have some suggestions this year um, I always have suggestions I'm full of suggestions um, okay so this year for everyone who wants to participate in Queen's Convene it starts on the 29th of June um, which I think is Friday um, or Freya Day and it ends on um, the 7th of July um, so you're gonna have to send me your email because I'm gonna send out the instructions for the passion test to everyone um, and I highly recommend that book actually it's on the bookshelf I'm not gonna get it um, it's by Janet and Chris Atwood um, so if you have not read it yet I highly recommend that book um, that's one of my other suggestions is to read whatever book you feel most drawn to right now. And for me, that is this book by Yolisa um, Bam. She went by Lebanandi for a while um, online. Um, Letters to a Lost Black Pearl. She's mentored by Chanel Cooper Sykes. Um, I didn't mean to throw her book like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm reading that book. Um, and as always, we're going to do vision boards. I mean, at this point, it's to be expected. We're going to do vision boards. We always do vision boards. Um, I haven't updated mine in months, so I'm going to be working on that. And I recommend that you all do too. It's a great um, visualization tool when it comes to um, manifesting and drawing the things that you want to your life. Um, the last thing that I manifested was a beautiful new house to live in. And I didn't do that with... Um, Actually, I do have some stuff on my vision board um, that showed up in my house, like my own bathroom and washer dryer, and just, you know, different things like that. A lot of Buddha statues and water fountains everywhere. So it's, it's a beautiful space. Um, also, for Queen's Convene, I'm recommending that everyone commit to one spiritual practice uh, for a week. The spiritual practice that I'm going to be committing to is tithing and that's because I'm also reading um, Edwin Gaines book The Four Spiritual Laws of Prosperity and I want to um, draw more prosperity into my life so I'm going to be focusing on that. There are so many different um, spiritual practices you could do. You could keep like a dream journal, a journal period. You could do, um, you could learn how to read oracle cards you could take a tarot um card class um you could learn how to read uh, pendulums you could go find a labyrinth in your neighborhood and start walking a labyrinth you could find a, a spiritual home a church or a spiritual living center um you can start doing you could go get your um birth chart read anything all of these things that are going to help you along in the next phase of your life um even if things are going perfect for you, um, you can always do better and you can always be more aligned. So this Queen's Convene is all about alignment work um, and we're going to begin it, begin Queen's Convene with a prayer call and end it with a prayer call. I highly recommend that if you are living in the city with any of the girls or um, women participating in Queen's Convene that you get with them. Um, and do some kind of ceremony. You could do a money drawing ceremony. You could do a prayer circle. You could do um, a bless her ceremony. And there are other sisters who I'm going to tag in this video who know all about those because they've um, participated in those with uh, me, Zuli, and um, 
I should be like and Meek and Kenyatta so there are a lot of people <laughs> who know all about these things so you don't have to just rely on um, asking me for things. Also a big thing that I do, especially with Asha B um, and Zuli is I, and Kenyatta again, is I just make it up. We just make it up as we go. We write our own spells. We write our own prayers. We make up our own card spreads. We just kind of throw our flavor into everything. So you don't have to feel um, so reliant on us for what you're doing with your uh, personal um, uh, week of uh, the Queen's Convention, but listen, if you need help on anything, if you need some recommendations, if you need to talk on the phone or you need to Skype, please contact me or I'm sure one of the other sisters, especially Kenyatta, like she's always, she makes herself available to other sisters and she's, um, I know she does card readings now um, for love offerings and she's just, she's just, so feminine she's a cancer she's just so into her magical energy her intuitive energy um, that I think it would be pretty beneficial to get in touch with her also if you would like um, a card reading with me you can let me know I'm always here always available I work a lot I run a lot I don't drive anymore so a lot of my time is spent commuting all over Atlanta or Atlantis but um, I'm still here so you can contact me if you like okay but um if you don't know what queens convene is we have a lot of we have old videos but you can ask me more about it if you have any questions but again we begin on friday and we'll be wrapping it up on the 7th i'm actually going to begin my alignment work because this queens convene is all about alignment i'm going to begin my alignment work tonight <laughs> and um I highly recommend that a lot of you do the same thing. I'm maybe, probably, it's just because this is the mindset that I'm in right now, but a lot of the women that I'm talking to are going through relationship stuff, like hard relationship stuff, like really, I don't say hard, really um, lessons that are really just urging them to blossom and bloom like things that are a little bit rough um so i recommend doing some purif purification work um some firewall therapy some z-point meditation um some spiritual baths i don't i'm not really into spiritual baths a lot of people are um and water is a, is a great cleansing element obviously some fasting i'm really into fasting i like fasting um but yeah, so that's it. Let us know if you're gonna join. I would love um, to, you know, connect with you all more. And I love you all. And peace and blessings. Be a fun. God. Come in, God. God, come in, God.